What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me doing the amazing account review, uh, going over the free-to-play account here guys, as of July. Um, you know, the last one we did was around the beginning of June, guys. We're here at the beginning of July, and I had to do another updated account review to show you guys where my account's at and what I've actually progressed on throughout the month. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, man, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We post these every single month around the beginning of the month-ish. You know, sometimes I get it around the middle. It just depends on, you know, what's hyped during that month, guys. But uh, yeah, with that out of the way, man, let's hop in and let's actually go over the account here, starting with my box CC. Now, last month, guys, in terms of the box CC we had, we were around 10 million on the dot, around that. Um, I think I was at 10 million 4,000, I think, or something like that. Um, now we're actually at 10 million 372 thousand now we gained a lot of box CC in that kind of you know one month threshold and the main reason for that guys was kind of just leveling characters and also just getting new characters as well um, the main thing right here is obviously Sobnox release she was the most recent festival that actually did come out and we actually did pick up the single copy of her uh, right here as you guys can see she is going to be one out of six right there and I did not get like any cosmetics for this character but we did just get her so that you know I don't have to you know chase dupes for her or chase copies for her in the future when I could just get the one copy and dip out the banner so just to show you guys what the banner is actually looking like here, I actually only spent 300 gems on it. Um, so we did pretty good overall on the banner. I mean, you know, getting her at the 300 just allowed me to stop summoning. And I could save gems. And I mean, look how much gems we actually have on the account, guys. I mean, we're at 1,252. You know, if I had to spend 900 gems, subtract another 600 gems from that, I'm only at 600 gems left over, right? Um, so you guys can see that like me getting Sobnog really early obviously did help the gem count and uh, we can keep you know saving gems right there which is really nice and then uh, yeah I mean uh, other than that though in terms of other characters I've leveled up I don't think I really know what else I've leveled up throughout the month um, just a bunch of just you know like giving characters gear you know uh, managing my box wall guys I mean just a ton of things that you would normally do in terms of increasing your account in terms of your box cc i was pretty much doing throughout this month man and that's how we were able to gain about 300k box cc right there most of it just bought by naturally you know gearing my characters and all of that but yeah i mean we were able to progress fairly well and uh yeah i mean a big jump in the box cc department now moving on from that guys we are gonna actually talk about the inventory now so let's actually show you guys what we got in terms of my inventory now this hasn't really changed too much over the month as well i think it's fairly similar but yeah as you guys can see right here um we do have 33 ratatoska materials 42 of the nidog and then three skull and hotties seven deer 20 bird um i did actually do a lot of grinding on the bird when it was double uh double drop half stamina i think the week prior and uh, yeah, that was a really good event. I was able to take advantage of that and get a ton of bird relics. And I still have enough to make another one, which is really nice as well. And in terms of my OG Demon and Bumble Snaps, we just got a, you know, a good amount of those guys. I really don't even need to be farming these on JP anymore. Just because I'm not like, you know, I'm not really stressed about leveling up characters like that. And if I have about 2,000 of each, I'm pretty much chilling, man. I mean, it's usually what, like 150 uh, OG Demon and like 125 Belmo. So yeah, I mean if you're around like 2,000, that's a good chunk, and that's at least like multi like what? That's at least like what seven characters probably maxed out, seven eight characters. So that's definitely really good. Moving on from that, guys, we got a bunch of UR pendants there. You know, we got a ton of SA coins just chilling, super or, or uh, SSR pendants right there. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of things here that I've just kind of been stockpiling on the account, guys. I mean, look at the anvils, right? 9,600 anvils just kind of stockpiled there. And that's mainly from just, you know, whenever there's events, you know, my time limit dungeon. And I still got to do a lot more grinding on time limit dungeon. But, you know, there's just a lot of ways you're able to grind that up. And then also my awakening stones here, 2,400 awakening stones. I really don't need to be, you know, plus fiving, plus one in gear, anything like that anymore. We're already at that point where we just don't need to, man. Um, which is really really nice now scrolling down to the bottom half of my box here though guys um yeah i mean it's just gonna be my enhanced stones and look at that fifteen thousand enhanced stones like am i gonna need that like all of that probably not but it's good to always have an excess amount because you never know you know maybe you start making a bunch of gear and then that does take away a lot of your resources so definitely making sure that you are you know holding on to a good chunk is going to be really good and then, yeah i mean from there guys the inventory is kind of just standard all my other stuff is still here i still am holding on to all these keys whenever i eventually do want to use them um you know it's an alternative you don't have to spend gold to actually use uh the keys you can just use them outright um on the uh, gear gotcha so that's definitely going to be a good way to go about it 
Now moving on to the uh, miscellaneous type guys, we got a bunch of chests here still that I want to sell, but we are at 93 million, so I'm not really stressing too much about gold right now, so I can really just leave these chests and they can just stay there. And then yeah, I mean we have the last slot being the gear slot, and we're almost kind of at the max right there. I mean look at that, 1,400 uh, pieces of equipment equipped, uh, which is really really good to obviously show how much we had for the box CC and all that. Um, so that's obviously really really good guys. So. Yeah, man, I mean, that's going to be the inventory and the account right there. Let's actually move over to my other uh, things in the game that I, that I want to show you guys in terms of what we've been able to do. Um, the Labyrinth did just drop here on uh, JP, and it's been about a week now that it's dropped, and I've been grinding it on the stream. If you guys have been checking out the uh, live stream we do every, you know, every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern, um, we pretty much just grind it together, guys, with the chat. And uh, yeah, I was able to actually get a lot of the uh, shop done right here, as you guys can see. I am still missing all of the uh, LR coins here, but we are like, you know, pretty good in terms of, you know, the uh, the entire amount right there. Uh, but yeah, I definitely got to grind this a little bit more and I'll be almost done the labyrinth right there, man. And uh, yeah, I mean, the Heroes Arena just left as well. Um, I don't remember if I actually claimed my rewards from it or not, but you know, that was the Heroes Arena and it was available last week um, for uh, JP as well, right? But um. Yeah, that obviously uh, did reset and it's gone and now we have Labyrinth and you guys on Global will be getting Labyrinth uh, this coming Monday night, Tuesday morning um, for the uh, Global update. So the, bear that in mind, guys. And then moving on from there, guys, let's talk about my PvP teams and what I've been running because this is actually important that I've actually decided in terms of, you know, what team works for me and actually what is good enough to win in PvP and get those matches. So I actually have settled with the unknown team at the moment, guys. Now, this is kind of crazy because, you know, I have Sins team, I have Human team, why am I running the unknown team? You guys might be wondering that. And the main reason why I'm running the unknown team is because it's really, it's really, really good with low investment and going second is a viable setup with this team. Now, I do not have outfits for any of these characters, guys, because Fatoria is a collab unit, you know, because Sobnox is a brand new UR festival, I do not have costumes. Um, Hell does have the free ones, right? I have the uh, Kobe Bryant one and also do have the uh, one from the Labyrinth. So I only have the free costumes for these characters, guys, that if they were available, I got. But other than that, I mean, I'm just running standard unknown. And the reason why I'm running this team, as I mentioned, is because I'm able to go second and I can, you know, I can win some matches. And in going first, I have a pretty good chance at winning as well. Whereas when I run like my Sins team, I feel like going second with my Sins team, I'm pretty much guaranteed losing against an opposing Sins or even like a human team, right? And if I am running a like, human team, I need to be going first with that team because I don't own Percival. I can't do the going second team without him. And so I have to kind of run this unknown variant here where I am able to go second and, and do really well. So yeah, man, this has been a really good team. Um, I was able to get to the uh, champion one in the past week, guys. I did have a little bit of help on stream. I'm not going to lie. You know, I had a few matches where maybe someone in the chat faced me and I, and I got a little bit lucky with the win. But yeah, no, I mean, 72% win rate from using this team is really good considering that I only have 199,000 CC, whereas a lot of people are going to be, you know, around that 200,000, 200, uh, 230,000, right? Um, so yeah, no, I mean, this is going to be my mainstay team, at least until, you know, whatever happens in the meta and wh whenever it adjusts. Um, but yeah, really, really good unknown team, uh, and, uh, and ungeared as well. And, uh, in my opinion, it has been a really good, uh, option, guys. And then, yeah, I mean, in geared, it's, uh, been my Sins team probably, so I don't think I changed my, my geared, yeah. Geared has still been the same, I'm still running Sins here. Um, in geared, it's not really as important, and I already have a lot of coins as well, so I haven't really just been playing geared, that's why I am in Platinum 2 again. Um, I'll probably get back to grinding it again once they add a new card in the, in the exchange shop. Um, but at the moment, they don't have one, I'm not really, you know, stressing too much about it, guys, so we don't really have to worry about that. And then, yeah, guys, I guess the final thing we can talk about here is going to be my Demonic Beast. And honestly, I haven't really been doing too much in terms of it. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have grinded out a few more bird relics that I didn't actually have before. So now these are the only ones that I actually am missing on the account. So I'm only missing 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, Holy Relics from the bird. And then uh, over here, we're only missing three from Deer. We're missing three from Skull and Hottie. We have all the Nidog ones. 
and we are missing two from rat which i can actually make right now um i just need the ssr material and i gotta grind it out and at the moment i feel like it's just not worth to give it to either derriere or camilla so actually i'm gonna hold on to the mats and wait till we start getting you know really really good relics from it and then maybe from there we'll start we'll start actually using it right um but yeah no in terms of teams guys i mean you know i tried this out for a video but it did not work out but i usually just run humans on on bird um yeah and then humans on on deer as you guys see right there I tried testing around on Skull and Hadi as well in Sabnak. I mean, she was probably going to be good, but I just decided not to actually run the team. Um, I did try this team out as well. Pretty good on, on the uh, Nidhogg uh, side of things. And then, yeah, guys, I mean, every week, you know, we've been doing the Ratatosker with the Valenti comp. And, uh, yeah, it's been uh, pretty good. So, there you guys go, man. That is the updated account review as of July 2024. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Where have you guys progressed on your account? Let me know in the comment section below what your box you see is looking like and how much you've progressed in the past month. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And with that out of the way, man, I'm going to see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. And have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.